Hi class, how are you doing? Welcome to week four. I just wanted to check in with you and go over a few things from your assignment from last week and then cover a few things for this week. Um, first of all, I wanted to kind of reminisce with your assignment last week of go and introduce yourself to somebody random and then reflect on it. And for uh, those of you whose assignments I've already read, I'm about halfway through the class. Um, it seems like most of them went very well um, and they were not awkward and they seemed to be just genuine. Hi, how are you? I'd like to get to know you. Um, some of you have uh, said that you met the person again or seen the person again on campus uh, and you've kind of given them the head nod or you know you, you've got another buddy or a friend on campus. Um, some of you have even began studying with the, the person who you, you went out and met. Um, and for those of you who are thinking what a weird assignment to do uh, in an online class, uh, you're right. However, let's think about all of the occupations that you will one day have if you stay in the healthcare field. You will be engaging daily with real humans, uh, interacting with them, communicating them, um, physically touching them um, in rehab or in diagnosing injuries. Um, and your abilities to not fret during small talk, um, to be able to introduce yourself in a way that is memorable, um, catchy and true, your, your quick little elevator speech, your branding statement um, is all really important. Your ability to be empathetic listeners is really important. Um, so here at the bottom of the screen I have, remember the four E's. Uh, these are things that you uh, hopefully know already but can continue putting into practice when you engage in conversation with somebody or when you meet somebody for the very first time establishing that eye contact. So looking the people in the eye who you are you are trying to uh, initialize uh, or engage uh, in conversation with. Um, sometimes extending your hand, doing a handshake is sometimes a, a thing to do, maybe at the end, thanking them uh, for their time, uh, exchanging some sort of information and then engaging in conversation. So practicing your four E's as we continue with um, the art of networking and how that will help you right now um, and getting in uh, internship future or grad school or in your future uh, professions and vocation. So chapters one through two and the intro. Uh, the main part of, of the intro in chapter one was this. Jobs are very rarely posted. Less than half of jobs um, that are available are ever actually posted and hired out to people who um, are not known by somebody. Most jobs are hired uh, because the is hiring know somebody or they know somebody who knows somebody or they're taking personal recommendations. So with that being said, networking is really, really important because it's the people who you know, um, not just what you know. Um, and then all of the other ones, practice, practice, practice. So some of you are really, really good at the art of making conversations with strangers and uh, not not being afraid of the art of small talk. And some of you need to practice small talk and engaging in conversation. So this week I've asked you, where are some places that you maybe could go and practice small talk and practice greeting people and practice uh, engaging the four E's uh, and extending your hand and, and, and doing those types of things that would be a natural environment. Um, and then I want you to remember your branding statement, remember your elevator speech, uh, the tribal introduction that you wrote about yourself. You had two situational statements, um, introductions, remember the quick short infomercial about yourself that will be memorable, true, and catchy, and reread them and see if one, uh, will people remember you because of that, or is it too generic and too uh, bland, and two, is it too corny or is it something that you would feel comfortable with? So I would really like it if you would practice it with somebody who you trust, maybe a, a roommate or a neighbor, or you call up your mom on the phone and you say, hey, is this, does this sound like something I could say out loud? Because not this week, but next week, you will be practicing your, your branding statement with either a professor in our department or a professor in another department because your faculty members want to get to know you. Um, they want you to be engaged. They want to know if you are engaged. Um, and, and so meeting them after class or before class or thanking them for something that they've done or asking them a question uh, is just a way to get to know them and again to practice the art of uh, networking and the art of, of random meet and greets. Um, and then let's continue there with chapters three through four. So characteristics of great networkers. So a lot of people describe great networkers as these very charismatic, extroverted, loud people. And those are all um, traits that can be um, characteristics of great networkers, but really quiet introverts can also be networkers. So in the, the chapters that you'll be reading to this week, uh, you'll see an entire section on introverts and how um, a person's confidence um, really helps them with networking and it doesn't necessarily mean that you love being out in front of everybody um, but that you're really good at the the one-on-one -on -one 
uh, conversations and that you're really good at empathetic listening. And so for those who are really great at conversing with total strangers and don't have a fear of that, uh, maybe this week your challenge would be to practice empathetic listening where when somebody's talking to you, you're not thinking, what's the next thing I should say? What should I say next? What's the next wild statement? But you're actually taking in what they're what they're saying and you're hearing them. Um, Practicing our verbal and nonverbal body language. Our nonverbal body language is really important. Uh, we can convey up to 10,000 different cues in a minute with our nonverbal body language. So when we're uh, initializing a, a conversation with somebody who we've never met before, how you hold yourself, your posture um, is all re really, really, very important. Uh, and then here, chapters five through seven. So this week's reading, these are some of the things that you will be reading about uh, introverts listening, the difference between listening and hearing and, and what empathetic listening really is, keeping in touch. Who are some people from your past who you should probably stay in touch with, who you should maintain, maintain a connection with, who you should reach out and just say, hey, I just wanted to say hi and, and see how you are because maybe someday you will uh, be able to help network them or connect them with somebody or someday they will be able to connect you with somebody. So just continuing with um, your, your expansion of, of networking connections that you've got. Um, and then what are some organizations either on our campus or professional organizations that you should um, consider getting getting involved in that maybe could help you practice your, your art of small talk and meeting and greeting or would help you to continue expanding your network. And then some etiquette uh, advice from the book um, about texting and emailing, which is always a good to know uh, thing. For our, our chapters this week, you have one assignment this week, assignment number two. You'll be reading chapters five through seven, again, due on Friday before midnight. I would suggest you read some of the questions uh, and then go out and do them if there are those uh, respond and then reflect questions. And just as a heads up, next week you have two assignments. So next week you will be finishing the networking book, doing one more networking assignment. You will be taking your branding statement and going and meeting or introducing yourself to a faculty member who you have and reflecting on that. But also you'll be reading a, uh, an, an article called Vocation and Calling and you'll be doing a, a discussion board activity. So this is our first discussion board activity for this particular class. If you've never done a, a, dis a discussion board activity on Canvas or online before, think of it as like a really large group chat texting where we're all talking about different topics that we've pulled from, uh, from the same reading, uh, like a campground conversation. And so we'll be engaging in that. So if you have a really busy week next week, go ahead and start on uh, the assignments this week if you want because they are already posted. I hope you have a really great week and as always everything is on Canvas and you can reach out to me uh, either by email or Canvas messaging or text message. Have a great day.